What's up everybody, welcome back to the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue and you are watching Chrono Trigger Part 22. And in today's episode, we are going to the end of time at this moment, actually. But uh, then we're going to go to the future. <laughs> it's going to be some future shenanigans today. On the last episode, we went through and cleared out the northern uh, ruins and turned it into the hero's grave. Which is pretty cool. That was Frog's little bit of his uh, mini side quest there. Uh, so we've wrapped up. Uh, looks like Luca's. Which I, I guess was her little mini thing when we went camping and all that. Uh, Robo's quest is next. The origin of machines. Uh, yes, I mean to tell you, you have a birthplace. Not that we actually even knew about it, but you know. <laughs> I guess he knows about it. Probably the old man too. Stuff like that. All right, so we're definitely gonna be bringing Robo along. Uh, let's see, Robo Chrono Magus. That sounds pretty good. It's a nice hard-hitting team there. Um, as per usual, most of the robots are indeed, uh, you know, weak to that uh, lightning elemental. Uh, so it'll be a good idea to have uh, Magus and Chrono along for the ride. Both of them there are gonna be hitting pretty hard. And uh, yeah, the uh, <clears throat> the Geno Dome is where we're heading for. And that is located kind of in a, like in a little isolated island part of the uh, future uh, landscape over here. There we go. Um, so yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of the series. And uh, don't worry about that floating black omen there. That will not go untouched. Uh, although I don't remember which period I'm going to start it in. You can't, I don't believe you could do anything with the black omen here in this time period. Uh, just because it's already kind of a little bit too late. And here we go. After a little bit of flying around, we'll go in here to the, uh, the Geno Dome area. And uh, we'll do a quick little item check, relic check, all that, excuse me, accessories. I keep calling the relics because I, I think, uh, for some reason, I keep thinking of Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> I think that's what they call them there. Pop some Nova armor there on Robo. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, Nova armor on Chrono, also good. Or no, maybe, well, yeah, Nova armor. Nova armor's just fine. Uh, because Magus is good with his gear. Most of his gear is tailored for him. Well, that's fine. And uh, we have Robo in the lead because Robo is the only one that can really use the terminals here. Who enters here unbidden? Welcome, R-66Y. Or should I say Prometheus? They call him Prometheus. He was the first one or something like that. Alright, so yeah. Um, now, uh, gamer beware. Uh, there is a way out of here, but I think you're kind of locked into this area. Unless you want to have to do all this again. Uh, because, yeah, this little... Uh, Conveyor belt here will take you into the... Well, I guess you can call this a dungeon. Yeah, I might as well call this a dungeon. And uh, right off the bat, lightning is going to do great against these debuggist. <laughs> they are debuggist. Lame, 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 lame joke. Alright, and what did he just do? Shoot his own partner? That's kind of dumb. These robots need some uh, maintenance. They're malfunctioning. Apparently. Uh, now, they call this area the origin of machines, so I guess this is kind of where the machines started making themselves. Very Matrix-like. And description. <laughs> Just putting that out there right now. Uh, but this is a really good area, and I think I made mention of being able to come to this area later. It's a pretty good grind spot, especially with this little conveyor conveyor belt right here, uh, because it's a constant flow here. These enemies are always going to show up if you, if you want to restart it, and they, they do give out a decent bit of pointage there. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about that in the um, in the Mount Woe episode that uh, I'd refer to another grind spot, and this is it. I think Geno Dome is a pretty good place to do it. Um, and like I said, it's this conveyor belt. This is because there's a series of battles here. They always get a little bit more and more every time you go. So each time you're going to get more experience, more uh, tech points, all that goodness. And uh, we'll pull out the big guns here and throw down some Luminaire. That'll do the trick just fine. Should wipe them all out in one hit. And I couldn't see the top ones, but I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, they are dead. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, there we go. Decent little bit. 32 tech points. That's okay. It's not the best. But, but it is a constant area because, like I said, they're just going to keep throwing more robots at you here. It's a good little gauntlet to run uh, if you just kind of want to get... I haven't done all the math on it, obviously, to see how much it actually gives you. But uh, it's decent. It's decent. You know, it's not too bad. Like I said, I, didn't, I believe it's repeatable. I don't, I'll don't. i have to make mention of it when I find out, if I see it, <laughs> where the uh, area is to escape this. Come back and do it all over again. There we go. See Chrono leveled up. That's, that's always good. Another battle. Yeah, like I said, they're just going to keep them coming. Um, I didn't skip any of these because they're all kind of scripted battles. So. We'll keep it going. That's fine. I'll, I will illuminate the metal plate sheeting off of these robots if I have to. That's fine. Melted. Melted down. <laughs> it looks like I kept the uh, wall ring there on Robo. Uh, that's why he's shining gold, kind of like yellow like that. He's, gonna, he's my tank buddy. 
I want to keep him alive too because he's also my healing buddy for this area. He's gonna do a uh, pretty good multi-healing for the group here. All right, now the gimmick in this area, and then I'll, I think there's a panel or something I can go and talk to about it, but uh, again, I'm not really that worried. Oh, wow, are they blocking this? Okay, yeah, they are. I thought this was the uh, enemy. Well, there are some strange mechanics here in this area, uh, unlike the, the witch we have seen before. Uh, so some new stuff. It's not really too complicated. Uh, it just requires a little bit of agility. Players, speed. <laughs> Player agility. There we go. So, boost them running stats up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, we'll take care of the buggers, if that's the plural way of saying that. Two of them. 300 years ago, the lavish disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out. Ooh. Well, yes, there's only a handful of them left, and they're kind of scattered amongst the domes. And it looks like this robot dude here is blocking a treasure chest and uh, one of those Poyozo dolls, or however you pronounce that. There's another treasure chest there, but uh, I'm gonna take a mental check and go back to it. Um, now these little, there's gonna be little slotted little, I don't even know if that one's open. Uh, these little like battery areas. Again, I'm kinda, I'm waiting till I get to the point where I start talking about it, I guess, but it really doesn't matter. They kinda just charge you up, is what they do. They charge up Robo, like so this, you wanna keep Robo in the lead here. Oh, if you didn't know what the enemy was, it's these laser guards here, and they're pretty weak. Uh, so you can take care of them. If you wanna just take care of them all at once, don't waste the Luminaire on them. Uh, yeah, there we go, Robo leveled up, Magus leveled up, nice. Um, one thing I, I I wish I had done more in this uh, playthrough was 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 gear up well not gear up Magus level Magus up um, and more st more stuff that I'll touch on later but yeah I want to go back over here and maybe grab this treasure chest here yeah it's gonna trigger the enemy no worries no worries um, did I keep the gold stud on Chrono I pretty sure I did because Luminaire would have just wiped out 20 MP. Yeah, uh, good idea to keep that on him. If you don't have Chrono in your party, you can throw it on a Magus. It's just as good, just because he's a good spellcaster, especially when he gets his, uh, well, what I was talking about, his final attack, which I don't think I get, sadly, in this. Uh, I'll show it off when I do whatever the next variant of this Let's Play is going to be. Um, I've decided that once Chrono Trigger is over, it's not really over. I'm going to start up another <laughs> another way of doing it. And I think it's going to be a live stream of uh, Chrono Plus. It's a nice ROM hack that I found. I just wish I could have done... I'm, if I'm going to try to figure out a way to get my game data. Oh yeah, here it is where, where we were talking about energizing and pods and stuff. That's kind of what I was going on about. Um, we'll read about this real quick. Uh, conveyor belt stuff. Yeah. Whatever. Read along. Pause it if you have to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you take two guards in front of each other. Okay, so we got to make... We gotta, we gotta have one of the robots follow us. Oh, what's up with the doll? We gotta obtain two figurines on this floor in order to get to the mother brain, and the mother brain is what's controlling this whole area. And as usual, okay, so I'm gonna charge up here, and as usual, I forgot what I was talking about before. <laughs> you could use that to move from pod to pod and charge them up. As long as you have that little energy whirl going on around you, you can go through and open up different areas around this area. So we've got one of the dolls. One of the dolls that's just been acquired. How nice, awesome. Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the uh, next iteration of the game. I'm gonna try to maybe like get my save data from this and then use it with the mod because I, I tried that before and I think I screwed something up and it, it corrupted. It didn't corrupt permanently, but it but it, it didn't work. It, graphical glitches galore and maybe I just started it from the beginning or something. I don't know what I did, but maybe it's just all wrong. I can't do it. Maybe I did it with the wrong ROM, stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. But I will try to figure that out uh, <laughs> once the series is over. Um, I'm not gonna be doing it right away. Obviously, I'm gonna. Um, I have other games planned and, and that are that are being uh, edited and, and recorded as I speak. Well, not as I speak. Obviously, I'm not doing that right now. But I have a I have a good clip of Earthbound episodes that all they need is commentary. So yeah, there we go. It's just my style. That's how I do it. I like to be prepared. <laughs> Uh, at least with this. At least with the, the gaming channel. <laughs> oh, okay, so I think that little sparkly thing there, that's how you get back down and out. So if you were to use that, I think it goes... I think that's what that is. It takes you back to the beginning, and then you have to do that whole gauntlet over. I don't know. Or it could be a tab. I'm not really sure. I'll find out in a minute. <laughs> As I'm talking about all these plans that I've got for Chrono Trigger, it's... it's I made it quite obvious most times, but I, this is all pre-recorded stuff. I actually played this entirety of this game back in 2018, so uh, while I consider it archive footage, it is all brand new because it's finally coming out to light. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. This is, and very, very somber that it's uh, ending soon. 
Three episodes to go after this one. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna make my way up the conveyor belt that's pushing me the wrong way and it's just as much fun as you'd imagine. Kinda like going up an escalator the wrong way and then getting kicked out of the mall because you're a grown ass adult. That's only happened once. Uh, anyway, we can go through the top here and you will see a little robot kinda sneak in the side right there. If you're paying attention to the right to the left there. And get the nice little music there to let you know that there is something you can do. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else I can do in there, and we're blocked by that laser thing, so, and whatever that is, it's blocking my way there. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm curious. It's, it's, uh, oh, it's a dust shoot. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, this is what takes you back. Okay, so you can start that, that's, again, why I made mention, I'm like, damn it, I, what did I do? Why, why have I done this? <laughs> I can't believe I've done this. Because, yeah, now you have to start the whole cycle over. And it's good, like I said, for grinding, if you want to do that. Yeah, I'll give Chrono some magic. I'm going to have to go through this gauntlet over here, but I am going to uh, battle skip all of this and just go right to the top so we don't have to waste any more time. Seeing the same thing over again, it was my bad. There we go. Like it never happened. Okay, so we'll try another floor now. Let's see where this takes me out. Uh, oh, good. I could have just used a shelter instead of using the, uh, the ether thing that I just did for Chrono. <laughs> Guess it didn't matter though, I'm doing okay, so. Oh, there's something that's actually uh, useful. That's the power tab. I knew there was something. I think I was like, there's gotta be a. Every every zone has one. You know, where is it in this area? <laughs> Alright, power tab. Yeah, I'll give it. I think I accidentally did that. I think I really meant to give that to Chrono. Uh, I'll go ahead and give that magic tab to Magus, though. He uh, can use that with good effectiveness. And uh, I guess it's not a bad idea to have Robo powered up. Um, yes, the robots here, they believe that the planet would be incredibly peaceful without the humans. Um, there's really not enough of them left to even start a resistance, I don't think, so... I don't understand what the problem is here. It's not like the Matrix in, in its entirety where you have an entire city of humans. They're all living in squalor and shitty domes on the surface of the planet, not even underground, where they can make a Zion or anything like that happen. No! These humans aren't that smart. And there we go, we'll rock some face, and uh, we'll rock some more face as uh, Chrono and Magus do a little dually of some lightning spells there. Not really a dual tech, but you know what I mean. Copycat ability. <laughs> I got a barrier that I'm never going to use. I really have never used any of those items. I've just never seen the use. You get you get accessories that, that work in their stead, and they are permanent. So Okay, here we go. We go back down that little uh, elevator, and this will take us to that little secret area that we found. There's a switch on the wall here. We'll go ahead and, well, switch that. <laughs> and that should have opened. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm... Oh, I'm just on the other side. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought that would have turned off the laser grid there, but. There's more of these tiny laser guards. Like I said, very weak. Don't don't use Luminaire against them. Use something that's a little bit you know, weaker. You could actually single target them if you want, but no biggie there. Easier for me to just wipe them all out in one shot. Uh, oh, okay, there's the switch for the laser grid. Nice. Uh, and it looks like it opened up the block maybe on the other side there. Oh, no, it changed the direction of the uh, conveyor belt here because now I'm running against it again. Uh, the idea to do this is because there's only that one charge station. Uh, where is it? Right here. And if you're running against the conveyor belt, is it gonna is it going to work? Did I not do that right? Oh, I think I have to walk into the door. Um... Yeah, if you're running against it, you're really not going to have enough time to get there. So, charge up. There it is. This is in that back room. Sorry. I'm thinking about all the wrong places. Although, maybe I could have used that to kind of subtly charge. And don't worry about if it looks like it's slipping off. Like like so. It'll it'll still work as long as you got it. And look, right up to the moment. So, yeah. You've really got to have that conveyor belt going the other way. They really planned that well in this game. Got a hyper ether. That's always good. Got a full ether. Nice. Uh, I'm thinking the hyper ether is the better one. Can't remember. Uh, I bet full ether does like 50 or something like that. Or maybe, yeah, something like that. Okay, now it doesn't really matter with the robot that's following us now. He has no, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, friction, I guess, resistance against the conveyor belt, though, like we do. He'll just kind of follow along. But you do kind of have to keep him in line with you here, or it, I should say, uh, so it doesn't stray off too far. We need to bring this one over here so we can get the other doll. We've already got the first one. Having this robot here and follow us to his buddy so they can stare each other down is where we're going here. 
And just slow and steady wins the race. Come on, buddy. Uh, make them lock up. Make them lock up. Let's get them a little closer to each other. Don't slap me. I brought your friend. Enjoy time with your friend. Thank you. God. Get a vigil hat. And um, it looks like this isn't... Was that just an elevator? No, okay. I thought it was an elevator up as well. Just a pedestal. Let's see what that vigil hat's all about. Um, okay, it protects status, so that's good. I'll go ahead and remove the safe helm for now, even though it did, excuse me, a little less than uh, desirable defense. I'd rather have no confusion, <laughs> you know, no slow, no poison, any of that. No thank you. Uh, okay, this is... Did I already do the switch puzzle? I can't even remember now. I was staring at this and talking and going on my rant. <laughs> but I've got both the dolls now. That's the important part. So, let's see, I can go through, this is just the elevator back up, yes, that's right, go back up here to the top floor, and I didn't mean to do that at all, <laughs> go ahead and take another tactical save, I guess gonna use the, uh, the old shelter this time first, good idea, get all the magic ability back, all that, get my capacity up, hit points up, all that goodness, save, it's wise to do so, frequently and often. I already fought those before, so I'm not gonna worry about him, and I'm gonna grab this chest over here that's got a lapis in it, one of my favorite items. Oh, and what do we have here? Welcome home, Prometheus. That's a ladybot. Atropos? Or Atropos? I'm not sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call her Atropos. Uh, yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. Magus is like, what? Mwahaha. <laughs> Unlike the other R series, Prometheus has a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. I see. Tell them, Prometheus. What? He's like, I've been reprogrammed, I have no idea. We'll get rid of these humans and then go see Mother. Huh. We're leaving. Magus is like, let's just leave. Ooh. Slug. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropus, you've changed. Indeed. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. Again, what is the deal with killing all the humans? It's not like they're posing a threat here. Bang. <laughs> Ding. We'll fight. No. Stand back and leave this to me. Alright, we got a one-on-one -on -one robo battle. Here we go. <laughs> Little steam off move. Oh man, it's Robo versus his old ex-girlfriend, Atropus. Atropus XR. Whatever the XR means. <laughs> Better in killing humans. Extreme. Oh god, I could have made a terrible joke there. Extreme rage. <laughs> That's what I'll call it. And uh, I'm not really sure what her weaknesses are, but it doesn't really matter because all you've got to do here is fight with Robo. So not like I really have a whole lot of options going on. Um, Uzi Punch is pretty good. Uzi Punch always says, "Ooh," and she's got a healing ability. All right, so my first attack did absolutely not be good. And the Uzi Punch is the way to go. We'll do thousands of pieces of damage here. That's that's good. Thousand something. Uh, looks like she's got the same kind of attacks that Robo has. So, you know, they're kind of the same series. That makes sense. Oh, now I see what the R is. She's like a extreme R. R series robot. Yeah, there we go. And uh, like I said, pretty straight on fight. They kind of have the same moves. They're just going to use them against each other. Um, she probably has more hit points just because that's how boss battles are done. Yeah, great. Healing it up again. Looks like it's a very steady 300 every time. Um, so I think I'm still good, even though I'm looking a little low right now. There's still a chance here I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'll probably, probably heal on the next round, I, I imagine. Time to do that. 135. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why I'm using an item here, but get my MP back up because I didn't... Oh, yeah, I didn't put all my... I, I could have traded over maybe the, the gold stud from Chrono over here to Robo because his Uzi Punch, while powerful, it does take a good bit of MP away, so I do have to manage that at the same time. And there's that area bomb effect. That's really not too harsh. It's fine. Uzi Punch for days. I could do this. I could do this. I could go all day. Or whatever. No, way. I just put Captain America and Rocky together, I think. Huh. Yeah. Thank you, Pop Culture. Anyway, we'll keep that up. Man, haste would have been nice right now, actually. Make some haste. So I can just keep going round for round. Would have been you know, excellent. That attack is a little confusing because uh, it's kind of blowing herself up. I don't know, Robo, I think, has the same one. <laughs> Here, watch me self destruct. I'm fine. Didn't work out so good for Zero in uh, Mega Man X. Sorry, Zero. 
There we go, the healing round there. Take a little heal beam. I think it's another self-destruction <laughs> move. <laughs> How very Goku of you. Yeah, but it only does around 100, so that's pretty good. Just can't take a whole lot of them at once. Mostly the other attacks are... Yeah, are they are. Alright, come on, is that gonna do it? I am... Exploding for real this time. <laughs> and that was worse. <laughs> Prometheus? It's been ages. And all of a sudden, this robot has its uh, memories back. I'm damaged. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. Beating up someone works that way. That changes your entire programming. But in this world, it does. So there you go, tech nerds. Just, you know, everyone said, hey, stop hitting your, your computer when it doesn't work. Well, take that. Oh, you can plug this into your circuits. Here you go. Oh, and she disappeared. Turned into a pile of bolts. Atropus Ribbon ups Robo Speed by 3 and Magic Defense by 10. And that is a permanent stat increase for Robo. And it really, there is no item that she gives you. The ribbon is, is not really a ribbon, I don't believe. It's literally just, <clears throat> excuse me, a, um, a stat increase for Robo. A permanent one. So, speed being up, that's nice. And Magic Defense going up, that's also very nice. So. Uh, this world could sustain them if humans were not around. Ugh. We robots would create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. Okay, I guess that's it. They just find it more efficient to just be them. Man, thinking like a robot, right? Robots. Crazy robots. Got a lot of money right there. That's pretty sweet. Alright, let's get rid of that, uh, depressing music there. Oh, wow, they got... Looks like humans on a, a human processing plant. Let's stop the machine. Magna seemed a little intrigued there. Yeah, we can't shut it off for now, so it looks like we're just gonna have to let all these humans die for now until we can shut it off. Um, so this is where most of the humans have been. They're being, I don't know what they're being processed into. Magus, help me out here, buddy. What are they being pro, what do you, what do you process humans for natural normally? Uh, oh no. <laughs> And pop a quick save there. And I will go back. Let's see. Can I even... I don't even know if I can access that. I think I have to access that later. Oh, great. It's more of these little laser guards here on the side. Didn't see them. Kind of just blended in with the background there. We'll wipe the floor of them and continue on. Um, we are we are bound for another fight. So that's kind of why I went and saved again. Just to make sure that I don't have to do any backtracking. in the uh, rare... But it happens. Event that I might die, but I won't. <laughs> so we're good. Uh, could happen. Could happen in your playthrough. So just, you know, be safe about it. Oh, look. More of them. More laser guards. What are they guarding? Could be so important in this area. I don't know. But uh, I'll let Magus take care of him there. Oh, my God. He hits way harder. That's why I'm giving him all the magic tabs and all the best magic stuff could go to him. He's the offensive wizard. There we go. Was that Robo? I... I kind of blinked. I didn't see it right away. <laughs> okay, and I think those take you back down. I don't remember exactly. I'll go back over here through this area. Go down this door here. I can't go up onto the platform. I can't go around to get the treasure box, though. Got a full ether out of it. That's always good. And it doesn't look like there's anything else. Can I go under here? Nope. Sure can. All right, so <clears throat> didn't want to miss the box. Got a full ether. Just wasting humans in the human processing plant here every time I walk in, that's it. Anything on the sides here? I kind of—I don't know why I'm feeling that there was something, like, underneath, but... Maybe I'm thinking of a different area, or, or maybe I'm thinking of the old factory. The one we went to in part four, or something like that. Alright, and that switch is nil, I can't do anything there. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to take one of these pods. Oh, okay, here we go, we put the dolls in the pods and it opens the door, duh. There we go. All right, this looks like the main control area. Oh wow, Rainbow Lady, what's up? You did well to come this far. I am the mother brain of the ROI series factory. <laughs> uh, I will reset your circuitry, any race or memories. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And then we'll dispose of these filthy humans. Oh, I love it. I love the plan, let's do this, let's go. Sorry, the human race! Uh, yes, um, but no, not my precious memories or my irreplaceable friends. Even Magus over here, he's cool. Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marley, Luca, Frog, and Isla. Not you, Magus. <laughs> oh man, way to throw him under the bus. 
Ho, she said. This is rich. Don't make me laugh. You have emotions. I will show you just how human you've become. And here we go with the boss fight with the mother brain. Uh, which is actually probably a hologram. And it looks like the computer screens behind us are also targetable. And it says it down there. Displays. So there we go. Uh, just gonna rock the luminaire here and that should probably take care of the displays right away, I think. Yeah. Goodbye displays. You can... Ooh. Maybe that wasn't such a good thing. <laughs> it looks like she counterattacks when there's no... Oh, that was lame. Incredibly lame. No, this is gonna be nothing. Pretty easy. Pretty easy fight. Uh, yeah, cool. And uh, I put a nice little glitch, you know, going on. I thought this would be a cool little, you know, stylized part of the episode. Everything is glitching. Everything is going wrong. <laughs> We're in the future. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Flight of the Concords. One of those songs. Uh, ro we are robots. <laughs> Oh man, I missed that show. I wish it would come back on HBO. It was so good. Alright, so again, really the uh, tactic here is uh, lightning-based elemental attacks. We're gonna do the job just fine because computers obviously hate electricity even though they're required to run, but when you overload in circuits with too much electricity, then you know, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, Robo, since he uses the uh, shadow ability, again like I said, he is going to take care of healing duties here. And he's gonna do a very good job of such. Very nice. Not quite as good as Atropos, but, uh, you know, she was using a single target heal. Maybe. Maybe it was a single target heal. It's not like she had any cohorts with her, so. The name of the game is Lightning. Keep those, uh, Luminaires up. Uh, I don't think Shadow, like I said, Shadow abilities aren't going to be your best bet here. Uh, but yeah, I'll put up a magic wall on everybody. <laughs> That way, your your pitiful spells and magic and whatever, yeah, this maybe you know, this is just going to do nothing. I don't even know if it's an elemental attack or not, but... Oh, it does a good bit to Robo, though, I noticed. Robo's kind of looking... I don't know, he's about halfway. He's all right. Ooh, there we go. Chop you up. Breakdown! 300, or 3,000 experience points, 40 tech points, 3,000 gold. Magus levels up. And that's it. <laughs> Display gone. Prometheus, why? I told you why. Ooh, we got two weapons. The terror arm and the crisis arm. Uh, I think the Crisis Arm is the one that's very random and chaotic, kind of like Luca's weapon. <laughs> we're leaving. Uh, so, yeah. they uh, it, it does different status ailments, or it'll hit for crit, or it won't, or something like that. It's very random. I think the Terra Arm is, is really the one that I'm going to use more than anything. Uh, as far as, like, a uh, end-level, in-game kind of thing. Even though I'm probably not going to use them so much in the in-game, except for... The area that we just cleared here. So there we go. That was that was Geno Dome. All right. So I'm gonna do a check and see what I've got left to do. Uh, I think I've rounded out. I think I've rounded out all the all the side stuff. Is that it? That might be it. We'll talk to Old Man here and find out. Old Man tells us what we need to know. Um, but I will make sure that I am HP MP restored. <laughs> oh my goodness, first. Uh, let's see. Do I need to do any management here before we continue on? Oh, there we go. We got an Aeon. Or, yeah, I'll put the safe helm on her. That's not bad. It is a boost for her. And uh, again, being Marley being my healer, I got to protect her at all costs. I don't want my healers to die, especially not once I'm as important as she is because she's got life too. Uh, let's see. Magic scarf. I want to take off this wall ring. Let's get that safe helm on now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, having the magic scarf on my on my wizards. Well, let's see, a magic ring. There we go. And yeah, it's a little bit more powerful than the scarf. And then for Luca, you are going to get maybe I'll give you the wall ring. Yeah, we can do that. We can switch that up a little bit. I'm gonna keep the hero uh, metal equipped to frog. Let's see, I'm just gonna I'm just actually gonna switch those out there. There we go. I think that was a little bit better uh, because she's gonna be more or less the uh, offensive party member and uh, Marley will not be so much so I'd rather her have the protection that kind of just makes more sense protection from magic uh, since that's what that ring does uh, here we go the terror arm we just got that there and uh, like I said it, I think the crisis arm probably looks like it might be worse or something like that but it does have its uses it's just very very random uh, so. and we'll switch that out again so I can get the prism helm there Aeon helm is actually not as good so okay Okay, I have to think about that. Uh, safe helm on. Oh, wow. She's just straight up protection now. Magic, safe helm. Okay. Okay, that'll work. I'm cool with that. 
That's a good configuration. What's up, old man? What you got? You wish to fight Lavis, correct? Many paths lay open. That's, of course. Oh, and Black Omen. It's up to you when to decide to fight Lavis. How are you not be alone? Have, you know, all this stuff that we've seen before. He said it a bunch of times. What is that? What does that mean? That, okay, you know what it means? It means we have to do Black Omen. That's what that means. One of you is close to someone who needs help. Find that person fast. Has to be a reference to Magus. And his mother. Or whatever. Who is over there in the Black Omen. You know, kind of controlling and ruling it and all that goodness. So yeah, he's got to be the one that's got someone close. That we have got to go save. But you know what? We'll start Black Omen next time. Thank you for watching the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Roo, and we will see you on the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification icon to be reminded of future uploads. See you next time.